What is going on everybody, Dan with Gear Focus here, and today we are talking about color grading in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a really cool trick for you today that's something that saved me a ton of time and also really improved my color grading process, and that's converting my footage to Rec. 709 before I do any other color grading. Now I understand that this is not groundbreaking news to many of you, but this is something that took me several years to learn after I started doing video full-time professionally. I really wish I would have learned this sooner as it would have helped me improve massively on the color grading side of my work, which is something that I have felt that I've been lacking ever since I started. So let's go ahead and pop into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how easy this really is. So on my timeline here, I have three different clips. I have a clip from the new R7, I have a clip from my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K, and then I have a clip from the Canon R5. So let's go ahead and hop right over into our color panel and we'll go ahead and click on our first clip, which is the Canon R7. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to open our effects window. So if you don't see your effects window like this, it's just up here, you just click on the effects button. Now I've already got it highlighted because I've been working in DaVinci Resolve all day today. So the first thing that we're gonna do is add the color space transform to our node. And now this is gonna bring up a window over here under your effects panel. And all we're gonna do is input our information. So I know that this was recorded in C-Log3 on the Canon R7. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to Canon Cinema Gamut. And then I'm also gonna to go to Canon C-Log3. And as you can see, it's already starting to do some work over here in the viewer. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and scroll all the way down and make sure my output color space and gamma is set to Rec. 709. And then as you can see, we've already improved this image and we are in a color space that looks like it's color graded. So if I go ahead and I turn this node on and off, you can see exactly what this did for us. So this is the raw base image and this is our Rec. 709 converted image. And for most instances, this could be passed off as color graded for like YouTube content or like social media content. If you really didn't need to color grade hard, this already looks good and it looks color graded. So you in theory could use this conversion. So let's try it on another clip now. Let's go ahead and do it on a Blackmagic clip. So this is a Blackmagic RAW clip recorded on my Pocket 6K and it's essentially the exact same process that we just did. So we're gonna go ahead and drag our color space transfer form over here. We're gonna go ahead and put our color information over in our CST window. Because I recorded it in the film color gamma, I'm gonna go ahead and put it as Blackmagic Gen 4, and then we're gonna go down to film Gen 5. And again, we're just gonna make the output color space Rec. 709. Rec. 709. So the other common way to convert to Rec. 709 would be to use a Rec. 709 conversion LUT. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new node here, which is option S. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna also bypass this first node so that we are again back into our log color space. So if we were gonna use a LUT in order to convert this, we would just go ahead, right click on this, go down to LUT, and then I have this Canon C-Log3 to uh, Rec. 709 wide dynamic range LUT. And if I click on that, you can see that it does pretty much the exact same thing that we did over on the color space transform. So if we go ahead and disable this, you can see that it again compresses the image down. And if we expand that, it'll go ahead and make sure all of our color information is there. It's essentially the exact same thing. But this is another simple way that you can convert your log footage into Rec. 709. But you wanna be careful that you're using proper and well-established LUTs as sometimes if you use a bad or a cheap LUT or even sometimes a free LUT, it'll actually restrict your color information to only operate within that Rec. 709 color space. And when you have a log image that's got a whole lot more color information in it, you don't wanna restrict it down to only one color space. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for the video today. This was a nice quick one for you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any questions on color grading in Resolve or questions related to Resolve at all, go ahead and drop them down in those comments for me and I will go ahead and make sure that I get videos out to answer your questions. That's gonna do it for me today. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and remember Gear Focus is always here to help you feed your passion.